Hi there Libra, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview, just a snapshot of what's happening for November 2014 for you. Okay, so um, first of all, I mean, at the start of the month, for the first week, we've got Mercury in your sign. So good time to have any sort of communications, heart to hearts. Uh, we do have a square with Mars and Uranus uh, about mid-month so you want to be a little careful about that particularly if it's around money and family so uh, Mercury at that time will be in your solar second house finances and um, we do have Mars and Pluto in a conjunction earlier in the month, month on the 10th and that's in your family area and and then Mars with the square Uranus on the 13th which is family and relationships so family um, and, or around your home environment and uh, to do with money then that's likely to come up this week so also the actions of other people particularly those of an official nature and situations that relate to money can be transparent this month as well and what I mean like you know transparent it's like likely um, they may not be saying it but or doing it or, or showing you but you'll know uh, that something is going on and you should trust your instincts for that so anything that is uh, unexpected and does not go to plan is likely to be a blessing in disguise right now too so don't you know worry about that too much if you feel like things are going off track because that could be just what you want to happen okay so don't make any rash decisions you want to wait for the dust to settle and uh, you know before you agree or disagree to anything and sometimes when you know things are sort of hot because we've got the full moon in your solar eighth house which is all to do with money handled by other people one of the things is to do with and it sort of fits into this theme of what else is happening in your chart you want to be careful of and that's on the sixth of the month you want to be careful of really being reactive sometimes if you sit back and let other people take the lead then they can show you all sorts of things you know um, that you know reveal their intentions to you so you want to sort of just be a little bit smarter there um, and be careful of changing your mind. Uh, it's important to carefully think through your strategy and then follow it with diligence. Okay, so you don't want to be, you know, switching around and changing your mind on things. Um, now let's uh, you know have a look at where Venus is because Venus is your is your ruler. Venus to, at the first two. Uh, weeks of the month is in your solar second house you know good for money but also tempting to spend money okay so the people that you connect with now around finances make sure that they know what they're doing uh, if there are any doubt you want to sort of hire a professional okay get some of professional knowledge there all right and then towards the later part of the month from the 17th it's going to be in your solar on third house issues around siblings can come up but there is a new start indicated as well so if there is an initial um, you know upset then it could straighten itself out and because we have the new moon in there on the 22nd all right and and communications can start to even out a little bit so um, an eventful month let's say you know the usual supportive and challenging aspects so have a great time liver I hope something fabulous happens to you I hope it's not too confronting of a month and it all works out I hope you enjoyed the videos um, and also the daily overviews and the weekly and if you do and you're a social network or whiz then I'd love it and really appreciate it if you could help me promote the videos so um, have a great month and 